Alexander and the Wind-Up Mouse by Leo Leoni Help! Help! A mouse! There was a scream, then a crash. Cups, saucers, and spoons were flying in all directions. Alexander ran for his hole as fast as his little legs would carry him. All Alexander wanted was a few crumbs, and yet every time they saw him they would scream for help or chase him with a broom. One day, when there was no one in the house, Alexander heard a squeak in Annie's room. He sneaked in, and what did he see? Another mouse. But not an ordinary mouse like himself. Instead of legs, it had two little wheels, and on its back there was a key. Who are you? asked Alexander. I am Willie, the wind-up mouse, Annie's favorite toy. They wind me up to make me run around in circles. Everyone loves me. Alexander thought of Willie with envy. Why can't I be a wind-up mouse like Willie and be cuddled and loved? One day, Willie told a strange story. I've heard that in the garden, at the end of the pebble path, close to the blackberry bush, there lives a magic lizard who can change one animal into another. Do you mean, said Alexander, that he could change me into a wind-up mouse like you? That very afternoon, Alexander went into the garden and ran to the end of the path. Lizard, lizard, is it true that you could change me into a wind-up mouse? asked Alexander. When the moon is round, said the lizard, bring me a purple pebble. For days and days, Alexander searched the garden for a purple pebble. In vain. He found yellow pebbles and blue pebbles and green pebbles, but not one tiny purple pebble. At last, tired and hungry, he returned to the house. In a corner of the pantry, he saw a box full of old toys, and there, could it really be? Yes, it was. It was a little purple pebble. All excited, he ran to the garden, the precious pebble tight in his arms. The moon is round, the pebble found, said the lizard. Who or what do you wish to be? I want to be... Alexander stopped. Then suddenly he said, Lizard, lizard, could you change Willie into a mouse like me? The lizard blinked. There was a blinding light, and then all was quiet. The purple pebble was gone. Alexander ran back to the house as fast as he could. Read the rest on your own to find out what happens to Alexander and the wind-up mouse.